morning everyone morning, we are going to talk about uh, test taking strategy today what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a an ideal paper which may be applicable across board to business management mass communication liberal studies or hotel management now we all know there are four areas which are part of each one of these exams that is mathematics english logic or reasoning and general knowledge and current affairs these are the four areas right now i have been getting a lot of calls from you know students parents sir i am giving only symbiosis still i am getting a paper of ugat or i am giving only narsimhji i am getting a paper of symbiosis couple of things every brochure if you read where they give you the structure of the examination they write a rider in that that structure format or any other thing related to the examination can be changed without intimation it's the perspective or it, it is the it is the power of the management to do it few examples till 2011 hotel management there is me kuch log till 2011 service aptitude was never a part of the paper you know what was the instruction instruction was that service aptitude section is mandatory you have to appear for the section but marks of that section will not be counted in the final marks so apne to start hote hain hai na jab paper ke marks hi calculate nahi hone hain to karna kyu hai hai na to section hi chhod do now there was a writer with that that writer said that you required to have minimum one mark in service aptitude then and only then your paper will be checked to ek bachcha hamara bahut pyara in spite of the fact i continuously keep telling you and i am telling you also please read instructions carefully please read instructions given in the examination carefully because anything may change sectional cut off may come in they may say that each section we should have minimum 10 marks then and only then you qualify you can't go and take the examination of the institution to the court of law ki aapne pehle nahi bataya mere ko gaya pehle nahi bataya paper mein likha tha hai or there can be differential marking which happened with iaft 2009 they had different marks for different questions and different negative कहीं पॉइंट टू फाइव नेगेटिव कहीं पॉइंट फाइव जीरो नेगेटिव कहीं पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नेगेटिव और आई कैन से कहीं ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट नेगेटिव कहीं फिफ्टी परसेंट नेगेटिव कहीं सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट नेगेटिव कोई क्वेश्चन एक मार्क का कोई दो मार्क का कोई चार मार्क का तो मतलब हर क्वेश्चन से पहले उलझते रहने का बेटा देखो घर पे खाना मिलता तो तू तेरे एक बात करता हूं तू पेन क्यों खा चेकआउट खाना देते हैं घर वाले नहीं देते हैं देते हैं कि नहीं देते हैं डालते हैं ना खाना दो दफा देते हैं कम से कम आना प्यार से वो पेन दे बेटर थिंग इन लाइफ बेटा सोचा पता नहीं क्या घूम गया उसका नाउ बिकॉज वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल about reading the instructions because any instructions can change we have to adapt ourselves to that those instructions there and then in the exam that is the reason i am giving you multiple different types of papers so that you are equipped to handle any type of paper there can be a negative marking paper there may be negative marking which is removed from the actual exam during the paper they may write Today there is no negative mark. That's okay, but you should be you should be equipped to deal with both these situations. Yes, no. Yes. That's what I'm looking at. So we are giving you different test patterns, whether that is UGAT, NMAT, SAT, uh, PDPU, Narsimhji, whatever, whatever you want. Know. Right? I am taking an ideal situation where I am saying that each section is 40 marks. This is an ideal situation I am taking. Uh, you get there will be thirty, 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 forty, 
uh, symbiosis will be, you know, 40, 40, 40, 30, and so on. Right? So I am taking an ideal example where I am saying, and each example you will have to tweak in for yourself when it comes to the actual exam taking. Right? Okay. Now, in each of these sections, you would have your own strengths and weaknesses. Some of you may be very comfortable with English. Some of you may not be that comfortable with English, but more comfortable with logic and so on. So I say, or I define, that either you can be a gada in a section. Gada you understand? <laughs> yes, no? Anybody who has seen one? Nobody has seen one? <laughs> anybody? If anybody is in confusion, please go and my child has. But I have seen it. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? What happened? Any confusion? Very nice, very nice. Or you can be culture. Culture is a given category. Yes, no. Or you can be. There are only three options. Yes, no. <laughs> now, uh, to simulate it, can I say this is that section which you are not very comfortable with, which is your weakness? This is that section in which you are an intermediate student, and this is that section which is your strength. No confusion. Now, let us define. Definition of the that Gada means what? Meaning, we those not know to me, or in my dictionary, Gada is a child who is 50%. Do you say that in the Yes, no? Well, do you say that in the board? Do you say that in the board? Do you say that in the board? So, if any examination you take, whether it is a past paper, pick it up, or any of the exam of IQ, pick it up, go home, sit with leisure in that exam, each section, 50% of the questions are something which you are definitely able to do. Ah, no. 50% questions are around second. Given there is no time restriction. 50% questions you can do in any of the given exam without any problem. Culture to me is a guy who is a 65%. And start is a guy who is a 80%. But a simple si idea is that 50 stuck up questions to go in the KCB section. Mein kar sakta. Now, I am sure you would agree that you can say 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 that you My reaction would be shut up. I hope you are there with me. Ha, you can say, this, sir, I am, I am uncomfortable in a couple of sections. For a couple of sections, I am very good at it. So, can I? My answer to you is yes. So, I say, you need to be stud in more than equal to one section. You need to be or you can maximum be culture in not greater than two sections and you can be maximum in gada in not greater than two sections clarity itna to karna hi padega ek section mein mere ko start hona hi padega minimum maximum mein do section mein gada ho sakta hu so that means two section mein agar main gada hu ek mein culture ek mein start to bhi i promise you will be in a position to get through any of the best institutions of your choice. National benchmark ये कहता है कि in a negative marking paper, I repeat, in a negative marking paper, 60% score will fetch you admission to the best of these schools. And in a non-negative marking paper, I repeat, in a non-negative marking paper, 70% marks will fetch you to the best admission, uh, admission to a best school. उसके बीच में मेरे को लाइक करना। ओके। नाउ लेट्स गेट बैक। मैथमेटिक्स गदा कैन आई से 20 मार्क्स? इंग्लिश 20, रीजनिंग 20, जीके 20, कल्चर इस 25, 25, 25, 25, 
that is 32, 32, 32, 32. You definitely make it to the best team. You definitely make it to one of the best. And then, uh, you know, we don't deal in backdoor entries. I hope it is very clear. Yes, no? Yes, sir. We are talking about merit and we are talking about right back account. Now, my question is, how do I reach here? We call it a test taking strategy. When a paper comes in front of you, how do you deal with that paper? Now, every paper would always have three types of questions. One, which are questions of this category, which anybody could be able to do. Second, questions which you have to little bit struggle with, but you will be able to come out with the answer. And third, there are questions which we call as roadblock questions. Roadblock questions. Now those questions are, are put into the examination with a viewpoint that you get stuck with that question, waste your time and prove to be a gada. I hope I am clear. Yes. When we set the paper, karte hai, Usme, let us say mathematics ka heavy calculations ka maine ek question dal diya, which is going to minimum consume 6 minutes of yours. And because I was good at mathematics, I take it on my ego. Man, <laughs> 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 mathematics ka question nahi karunga. <laughs> How is it possible? Hey, How is it possible? So, top hai, mathematics question. So, question to karna hai hai. And then you enter into the question, you take 6 minutes and then you come out, dekha answer nika diya na. <laughs> My question is that answer was not supposed, to, that question was not supposed to be done. Why did you hit your hand? That question is a roadblock question which is supposed to be left. Which has been put in the examination to leave. And difference between a competitive exam cracker and a competitive exam appearer is only this. Are you smart to identify whether it is a doable question or not? Or you are another lot experimenting with the exam on the exam date. <laughs> Are you getting what I think? Why do we give you so many mocks? So that whatever experimentation you want to do, whatever kabaddi you have to play, play it here. So that I can tell you, beta, ye dao khelne se baju pe scratch lag sakta hai, ye dao khelne se ghutna chil sakta hai. But if you continue doing the same things in the actual examination also, God bless you. <laughs> Are we together? Yes. Yes, no? yes. Now, always go with a bell curve. Bell curve means start with an easy section, move to an intermediate section, go to a tough section, end with an easy section. This has to be the strategy. Now, what is a tough section? You know it. What is an intermediate section? You know it. Because that Toughness or easiness of a section is based on your capability. I can't define it for you. You have to define it for yourself. How will you define that is something which we are going to talk in the next level of strategy, which will be test 
analyzing strategy. But right now, this is what we will follow. Let me start with the GK portion because GK as a as a as a question is a question. If you know it, you know it. If you don't know it, you don't know it. There is no rocket science which you can do with GK. Yes, no. So one question, reading the question, reading all the choices and marking or answering the right choice. How much time does it take? 10-15 seconds maximum. Maximum. So if I say 15 seconds, 40 questions, 600 seconds, can I say 10 minutes? Start with this. 10 minutes, 40 questions, GK out. Now let us say after 10 minutes, you are able to reach only 30th question in GK. Relax. The moment you are away out with the 10 minutes, leave the section, go ahead. I'll tell you what to do next. Hold on. For the time being, 10 minutes of time fixed. 30 questions away, 25 away, 40 away. Chitne pe pounche ho, vaha pe wo section chhod do aage chal. Move to the next section. Whichever section you want to move on. Let's say mathematics. Whether, whichever category you are. Now, every category, to define yourself, you need to be stud. If you are a stud in a category, you need to be stud in two areas. One, the conceptual understanding of the subject and second, speed. If you have a category, you can do this category. If you have a category, you can do this category. Simple? Yes, no? Now, a child who is a very good child will probably not take more than 25 minutes to finish 32 questions. Because the other questions are not going to be so, this paper is a paper that has 160 questions. This paper is a paper that has 130 questions. Are you getting it? There are 32 question leverage which you have to leave, which you can leave. I am giving you 25 minutes. English. Now an ideal English section, 40 questions, will be 10 RC, 10 vocab, 10 grammar, and 10, let's say verbal logic, if verbal logic is a part of English, it may be a part of logic reasoning also, but let me assume verbal logic is a part of English. Thus, 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 thus. Now, my experiential understanding says, the children who come back to me and say, sir, I am not very good at English, their biggest pain is RC. Yes, no? The children, the children. Vocab is like GK. Aata hai, aata hai, nahin aata hai, toh nahin aata hai. Uske andar there is nothing, something which can be actually done. Right? Now, let us say if I call myself a gada in an English section. I say, boss, RC, apne ko palne nahi padhti. Ajar, Bara, so word ki RC, Tedete, Samanyata, which at the end of the by the time I reach the questions, I forget what the RC was all about. <laughs> so, what I want to do is let's say I have a gada, 10 questions of vocab is not going to take more than 2 minutes. Yes, no? 10 questions of grammar, another 5 minutes. 10 questions of verbal logic, another 10 minutes. So what I am doing is, maximum time which I am giving you is 20 minutes. Because if you are stuck, you will finish 2 RCs in 10 minutes. You will finish grammar in 5 minutes. You will finish verbal logic in 5 minutes. And you will finish vocab in 1 minute, 1 and a half minute, 2 minutes. Maximum actual time which you require is probably not more than 20-25 minutes. So I give you 25 minutes in English. Comes reasoning. 8 sections, 40 minute, uh, 40 questions, 5 questions each, 8 sets, 8 sets are 40. Whatever max, max, max time you want, I don't think you should be consuming more than 30 minutes. So within a span of 90 minutes, you are through with the first round of the paper. Still you are left with 30 minutes. What I do with these 30 minutes? 
टेकर नाइस नैप पेपर तो हो गया बंद हो गया जारी करेगा गिव दी शीट वॉक आउट डोंट डू इट नाउ इज द टाइम वेन आई हैव टू लीव रेज विथ द टाइम विच आई एम लेफ्ट विद एंड विद द टाइप ऑफ यू नो वेन वंस आई लेफ्ट दी सेक्शनल क्वेश्चन Now there is a possibility that you were through only thirty questions in the given time, and there are ten questions left. What I'm going to do is pour in ten more minutes in that section. That's one. Two. <clears throat> in first round, whichever question I don't know, I'll keep leaving. Carefully understand. In a non-negative marking paper. That is non-negative marking paper. What I will do is, let us say minimum I will leave, let's say thirty-two questions. Maximum what I am going to leave is eighty questions. Yes. What I am going to do in a non-negative marking paper is, eighty questions which I have left in the first round, I pick up any choice which I like. A, B, C, or D. और पूरे पेपर में जो जो खाली है सबको वही मार्क कर दो ए या बी या सी या डी नॉट हैव एज इफ यू हैव पिकअप ए मार्क एवरी खाली स्पेस इन द पेपर विद ए खाली स्पेस मीन खाली क्वेश्चन पता लगे सबका ये मार्क नहीं ऐसे होंगे गले सर ने कहा था जो क्वेश्चन आपने फर्स्ट राउंड में छोड़ा है उसमें सब में ए मार्क कर दो प्रॉबेबिलिटी क्या कहती है Point two five means for twenty five percent questions will be right. Eighty k twenty five percent questions twenty marks. So if you are in this category, maybe you have twenty marks. So you can add it. So be. And what I am talking is logical. Huh? What I am talking is logical. I am not talking illogical. I am not trying to show you some magic. What I am talking is logical. Now, if you are in a negative marking paper, is case me, zaruri kya? Is case me zaruri ye hai ki har paper me questions aise aap encounter karte hain, jiske andar aap question padke choices padke do choices to eliminate kar dete hain ki choice A nahi ho sakta aur choice C nahi ho sakta, lekin B aur D me se kuch ho sakta hai. या बी और डी में से ही कुछ होगा और फिर कंफ्यूजन स्टार्ट बी मार्क करूं के डी मार्क के बी ऐसे डी भी अच्छा सुंदर को भी भी दिख रहा है तो फिर डी मार्क करना चाहिए नहीं बी भी अच्छा सो वॉट एपन यू स्टार्ट वेस्टिंग यूजलेस मॉड ऑफ टाइम इन डिसाइडिंग वॉट टू मार्क माई क्वेश्चन इज इन नेगेटिव मार्किंग पेपर वॉट यू विल डू इज You will the moment you enter into the such sort of a question where you are able to identify two choices, उसके corner पे ऐसा mark लगा दो और आगे चलो. Till by the time you reach the end of the exam, you will have at least thirty forty questions of this category. Forty questions of this category, mark the first choice across forty questions. First choice means, अगर A और C हैं तो A, B और C हैं तो B. C or D है तो C first of the two choices mark them through go ahead probability says out of these forty questions twenty will be right twenty wrong twenty wrong means minus five twenty right means plus twenty net plus fifteen eighty plus fifteen ninety five you definitely land up at Narsi Manji you get what I am saying. Now a lot of kids will have a lot of kujli all around coming back to me and asking sir, pehla kyu? मुझे कोई problem नहीं है मेरी photo खींच के लेके जाना जब पढ़ाई करते हो वहाँ सामने लगा उसके नीचे रोज सुबह दो fresh लड्डू रखना और उसके अंदर अगर बत्ती जलाना हार नहीं चढ़ाना डायबिटीज नहीं होते 
इफ सम ऑफ यू आर वॉन्टिंग टू एब्सोल्यूटली कॉन्ट्रेडिक्ट मेरे को कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आप दूसरे वाला बात करना लेकिन घर से सोच के जाना कौन सा करो <laughs> नहीं तो पेपर में ही उलझी रहती है पब्लिक ये करेंगे ये करेंगे ये करेंगे जस्ट इमेजिन फोर्टी सेकेंड पर क्वेश्चन यू वेस्ट इन डिसाइडिंग विच वन टू मार्क फोर्टी सच क्वेश्चन हाउ मच टाइम यू आर वेस्टिंग यूजलेस टाइम यू आर वेस्टिंग जिसकी जरूरत नहीं और इतना ज्यादा सोच सोच के मार्क करो तो गारंटीड गलत होने वाला हंड्रेड परसेंट सो I have given you strategy for non-negative marking paper also. I have given you strategy for negative marking paper also. Negative marking paper के अंदर वो दो choices वाला question बहुत important है. Non-negative पे तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता. Negative marking also we should add in all the questions. No. In the question where I am confused about all four choices, I am not clear what the concept is. That question I will not do. Mota mota if I you understand what in a negative marking paper what I have asked you to do is 80 plus 40, 120 out of 160 means वो 30, 40 question छोड़ने ही हैं। तो 30, 40 questions छोड़ने ही हैं। Because कोई बच्चा इतना stud नहीं हो सकता वो बोले कि मैं 100 percent सर questions करूँगा और 100 percent सही। Possibility नहीं। किसी को अगर उसमें confusion है तो कोई भी paper लेके मेरे पास आके बैठ के दे लेना। कोई भी पेपर मेरे पास बैठ के दे ले यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू गेट ऑल हंड्रेड परसेंट क्वेश्चन राइट आर वी टूगेदर यस नो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू फॉलो वेन इट कम्स टू गिविंग दी टेस्ट नाउ इन अदर सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन विच यू टू बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस एवरी टेस्ट वुड हैव एन इंस्ट्रक्शन शीट उस इंस्ट्रक्शन शीट के ऊपर केयरफुली लिखा होगा कौन सा पोर्शन ओ का किस चीज से मार्क करना है इधर यू विल हैव टू मार्क इट विद एच बी पेंसिल कैरी एटलीस्ट फोर एच बी पेंसिल्स विद रेलेटिवली ब्लंट टिप फंडा समझे इफ यू हैव अ नीडल शार्प टिप यू विल पियर्स इट थ्रू दू एम आर शीट एंड देन यू विल गो टू दिन सर शीट फट गई <laughs> it may also ask you to do it with black ballpoint pen. It may also ask you to do something with blue ballpoint pen. So what you will be doing is you will be carrying four HP pencils. You will be carrying one ballpoint blue, one ballpoint black. Plus you will be carrying sharpeners, erasers. And please carry decent eraser. Public मतलब इतनी घटिया होती है examination hall में बाजू वाले बोले eraser देना वो बोलेगा एक ही है कोई बात नहीं भगवान ने इज्जतदार इंसान बना के भेजा था These are the things which you should definitely carry along with that government photo identity proof. And last but not the least, admit card. कितने portion का अपना एक kit बना के रख लो। वो kit carry करना ही है हर exam में। सिर्फ एडमिट कार्ड जो उस एग्जाम का होगा वो साथ में कैरी करना प्लीज डोंट मीट मी एट द एग्जामिनेशन सेंटर स्टेटिंग सर मैं आई कार्ड तो घर बुला है आई कार्ड डू एनीथिंग इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू विल बी इन पैनिक दैट डे मॉर्निंग बिकॉज एनीवेज यू विल बी लेट एंड देन व्हाट विल हैपन इज आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू टेल यू मेरा लेना IID card is of no use to you. And then, you know, these useless kids come to me with a matter of as if I am almighty. You know, and the moment you come and ask for a wish, I'll say, granted. And your pocket immediately flips up with the ID card. What do I do about it? Sir, I can't get to that. 
Very nice, Peta. Very nice. The folder will also go. Please make sure you take out the folder before you sell it in Basti. And it will not fetch you more than 20 paisa. And if you are that poor, please take that 20 paisa from me after going after this class. No, we keep a donation box somewhere. There is a bunch of people. Look at that. In your office, I have kept it there, Peta. शाम को कभी आइसक्रीम बिस्किट खाने का मन हो जाए तो आ जाना मेरे पास पक्का से नहीं बोल रहा है ना पस्ती के लिए बेचने के लिए रखा है मैंने बोला ना पस्ती के लिए मैंने बोला मैं ऐसे नहीं रखता हूँ मैं फोल्डर में रखता हूँ सर पस्ती में बेचने के लिए बेटा ध्यान रखना शादी के बाद ऐसी चीजें अच्छी नहीं रहती समझ रहे मेरी बात उसको भी कवर केंटर रखना There are three type of questions which you will encounter with the paper. You go home, you take the answer key, you compare the answer key with the question paper, and you will encounter that there are three types of questions which will pop up. One, first set of questions which is correct. Second set of questions which is incorrect. And third set of questions, which is unattended. Yeah, three possibilities. Hai. There is any other possibility? Now, how many of you have actually tried to go home and see what you have done in your paper in the test? How many of you? Handful of you. Okay. Now, this is a mandate. If you do not analyze the paper. Or analyze what you have done inside the examination going back home. You will not get to realize or understand what you are doing. It is as good as, as I said, experimenting with the paper and then coming for another experiment the next time. Not taking home any learning with my previous experiment. So what I am going to do? Or what do you do? Can if anybody goes and looks at paper, what do you do next? Anybody can tell me. You have identified these three type of questions compared to the answer key. Then what do you do? Solve the unattempted questions. Then I have solved, identified. Then what do I do? That's it. That's a completely wrong way of analysis. Outside writers. First, the time, uh, check the incorrect questions also because they also are the questions which have gone wrong. So, what do you do about it? You at least need to identify what is something which has gone wrong. Okay. Now, this is completely wrong way of analysis. What I am going to do is I am going to start the analysis from here. First, I will pick up all the questions which I have done correct. Now, there are two types of questions which will be right. One. Concept is right and answer is wrong. Hold on. Concept is right, answer is right. That is what obvious. That's what I know the concept. I applied that concept on the paper, or on the question. It was right, so I did it right. There is no confusion about it. Second question which can be right is. Concept is wrong and answer is. So, what are you saying? Nikal I was not supposed to be getting that question right, but it went right. For what do you do? I did this question right. And somebody asked you, how can you write this question right? And somebody asked you, how? Ten times this. सर वो बस हो गया एक बेटा मैं पूछता हूँ कैसे हो मेरे को थोड़ा समझा सर वो उस टाइम आ गया था दिमाग में यू नो अब नहीं आ रहा है स्टॉप फूलिंग योर सेल्फ स्टॉप फूलिंग मी राइट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज अनक्लियर इट्स ओनली दैट यू मार्क्ड समथिंग एंड टू योर लक इट वेंट राइट दैट्स इट इज नथिंग मोर विच देन आई मूव टू इन Incorrect, there is a possibility that concept is right, answer is wrong. Is ko kya bolenge? Silly mistake. So, what I tell myself? 
एक तो ऐसा क्वेश्चन अगर आप घर जाके एनालिसिस नहीं करते ऐसा क्वेश्चन आपकी कभी पकड़ में ही नहीं आएगा यू विल नॉट गेट टू नो वर्ड वॉट एपन रॉन्ग एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम वेन यू अपियर फॉर द सेम टेस्ट सिमिलर टेस्ट एंड सेम क्वेश्चन कम्स यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू मार्केट राइट एवरी टाइम बिकॉज यू डोंट नो दी कॉन्सेप्ट यू जो बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इज रॉन्ग एंड दिस हैपन्स विद those people who make this section primarily by the name of verbal logic verbal logic ka section dekha mark a if both a and b is correct mark b if none of the a and b are correct mark c if a is correct and mark d if b is correct and because b was correct i marked b <laughs> again what i am saying that's a silly mistake Identify it. Tell yourself, I will not repeat it. Next is concept is wrong. Thus, answer is wrong. What to do with this? I tell you. Moving on to unattempted, there will be two types of unattempted questions. One which I left because of fear. मेरे को कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आया क्वेश्चन करने का मुझे आता था मैंने घर जाके करके देखा तो आई वॉज राइट बट एग्जामिनेशन के अंदर बैठे हुए मुझे कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आया क्वेश्चन करने का मैंने नहीं किया छोड़ दिया सेकेंड कॉन्सेप्ट इज अनोन मैंने ऐसा क्वेश्चन भी नहीं देखा इट्स अ कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन और कॉन्सेप्ट इट सेल्फ इज अनोन टू मी सो आई हैव नॉट अटेम्प्टेड दी क्वेश्चन Now, when you will analyze this paper in this format, one, two, three, four, the moment you reach fourth analysis, you will be able to identify that these set of questions lie in same or similar categories. So, what happens? Every time I do syllogisms, thinking I know it. But when I go home and check, every time I am wrong. That means my basic concept of understanding is wrong. So this is something which I call falls in the area which is known as perceived strength. Every time I leave time speed distance because my question is very difficult. जहां वो ट्रेन रूम आ जाती है मेरे को लगता है मैं उतला जाऊंगा छोड़ देता हूं क्वेश्चन एग्री वॉट आई एम सिंग सो वॉट आई एम सपोज टू दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन और दिस सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन अगेन विल फॉर्म यू नो विल फॉल इन सिमिलर कैटेगरीज दोज कैटेगरीज आर वॉट आई कॉल एज माई प्रसिव वीकनेसेस What I'm supposed to do? Next time when I'll be appearing in the exam, only after analysis I will get to know that every time I leave time speed distance, but I know that I know that concept. I am able to do it right at home. So I will definitely do it in the exam. So what happens? This starts going here, containing flavor of. डर के आगे प्रोवाइडेड यू नो कि तुम डरते किससे हो चीज तभी मिलेगी ना पता तो होना चाहिए डराई डरते किससे हो अगर पता ही नहीं है अंधेरे में चल रहे हो कबड्डी खेल रहे हो तो ऑब्वियस ही जीत ही जीता है पेपर के बाद पता लगता है कि आपके बर्थडे हो गया दिस गोज हेयर बिकॉज आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन दैट कॉन्सेप्ट and this which was supposed to be actually a wrong question starts getting again correct because i start working on the concept so what happens overall your your positives start going up negatives start going down 15 marks jump you will get within four test analysis i promise you 
and 15 marks you will get jump with the previous strategy which I told you as test taking strategy because in non-negative how to get that last 15 marks and in the negative paper how to get that last 15 marks is what I have shared with you so 15 plus 15 30 across board in your class you are sitting at score ranging between 60 to 70 कुछ दो चार आलू हैं जो 190 पे पहुंचे हुए हैं और कुछ एक दो बिल्कुल आलू हैं जो 40 50 पे हैं यस नो ऑल ऑफ यू आर इन दिस बैंड 30 मार्क जंप इज व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट एंड 30 मार्क जंप मींस यू गो टू अ गो टू अ चॉइस ऑफ योर ड्रीम्स को बड़ा लग रहा है ऐसा कि हाँ मैं कर सकता हूँ आंसर इस हाँ बेटा बिल्कुल चिंता मत करो तुम शादी भी कर सकते हो कोई कंफ्यूजन है किसी को कंफ्यूजन हो तो मेरे से बात कर लेना पर माय क्वेश्चन इस अच्छी जगह शादी करने के लिए अच्छी जगह पढ़ाई करना जरूरी नहीं तो कोई तो मिल ही जाएगा बट म you should get married to the best. Yes, no? Yes. Okay, so let's go and get married with someone. Hey, you're free. Yes, no? Probably will not do that. We'll rather look forward to choose the right person to get married to. And studying in an institution is like getting married. It should be the right institute to be with. 30 mark jump is what you can expect out of implementing two strategies which I have shared with you today.